Hello, everyone. Good evening or morning if you're in Australia, and uh, welcome into Zelda Speedruns. Today, we've got a Skyward Sword randomizer Remlitz tournament race. This is Group Elden, game one of two between Knave357 and Redrail. Uh, here tracking today are Sledgen and Cube David, and along with me on commentary is Pac Man. How are you, Pac? Yeah, doing great. How are you, Golden? I'm good. A lot less stressed than I was 24 hours ago, that's for sure. Exactly. So this okay, is all right. This is Redrail's second race of the tournament and uh Nave's first one. Um so yeah, it'll be the first opportunity. I think Redrail's last race may not have had a restream here. So first race for both of them here on ZSR. Always a bit nerve wracking for your first time doing on restream. Yeah, I mean, first race in general is always nerve wracking. I uh, I looked at my heart rate for my first race and just saw it spiking. Um, I know, I know. At least for me, my heart rate was also spiking, and I was shaking constantly. So, yeah. So we are. Uh, Getting underway, any predictions for what dungeons we might get? I'm, I'm going to guess Ancient Cistern and LMF. I'll do Sandship and Skyview. Yeah, we are getting underway. We'll see the runners start in a few seconds and very quickly find out. Um, I apologize. I'm also going to be trying to write down the hint. So if I'm not talkative, that's why. All right, I'll try and go over them then. Central Skyloft to Skyview. Oh my god. The Cobblin Base to Fire Sanctuary. Oh my god. Guy's dead. Baron Woods Baron is dead. Baron Woods is dead. Wow. Skylar Village is dead. Triforce of Wisdom is in Fire Sanctuary. Triforce of Courage is in Lanayru Sansi. Oh my. Up that... the Skylar Fledge Crystals is dead. Zippers Retreat dead. Corco dead. Corco Goddess Wall dead. Summit Digging Spot dead. I think that's it. Oh no, Zelda's boss it. Oh, there you go. Looks like, um, Redrill is, uh, electing to do early Zelda's room. Pretty popular amongst, uh, our newer runners here. It's a bit of a new meta. Kind of like Dig Spot RBM was back in season two. Yeah, it's it's something that you can only do because you can warp to start. But I think Redrill failed it once or twice and just decided I'm gonna cut bait, which is I think not a bad idea if you're struggling with it. Um, mm. Like you don't want to waste a lot of time for a check that's out of logic. Um, yeah, so. Both of these are runners who are relatively new. Redrial, uh joined the community along with kind of the French contingent, Team Baguette, over the last few months. Um, Nave, I think, is a Wind Waker runner, Wind Waker rando runner who came over with some of them. Um, so this is their first tournament for both of them. And it's interesting, we've got a triple Garyheim seed. Uh, I, I now that I've processed the hints, realizing we've got a uh, Boko base to gear him too. Nobody likes Boko base paths because uh, if it's not the very first item you can get from the beginning, you need a lot of items. Um, so we'll have to see. I also yeah, see we got a very early bottle. 
Um, I wonder if we'll see anyone do early Oriel and Paro before they come back to clear the rest of Central. Uh, since it is a path region. Like showing flats. Oh my god. Imagine that just to get access to Upper Elder. Or to Beetle. It's definitely happened before. Where like you get a bottle on Platts and that's your path item. It's not fun, but uh it happens. Um the other kind of interesting thing with these hints is Farron Woods is a 10 check location uh, that was hinted barren. Um, and then Sky has four locations and Village has one. Uh, we can have a couple barren locations that we just don't have hinted um, just because of the way that barren locations get weighted. So, but. Uh, not having to go to Farron is pretty nice. Because it's 10 checks. You kind of have to look at everything. You can't douse. It looks like we got mitts from both runners here. Potentially uh, going to pursue that into an early Elden trip. Pretty simple yeah, play. that is probably our path item to gear you one. Um, if I were getting guess, I mean, we'll, we will see more, but that suggests that there's something either on, though there's, there's a small key or a boss key on the digging spot. Uh, well, unfortunately, Nave missing the uh, reverse waterfall cave dive. Um, it is... I mean, dive mechanics in this game are kind of wonky, and it's a, I'm not going to say super precise, but it is somewhat precise. You really have to angle the entire time, and yeah, and you've got to angle perfectly after. Oh, wow. That's also Water Dragon scale in Central Skyloft. Okay, so we're at a bit of a crossroads then. Don't really know where to go, what to pursue. Yeah, I would probably still go to Elden Start, but I would maybe consider Farron just to clear most of Lake Floria. Uh, the problem is you don't have access to get into Skyview, and you really want to beetle before you clear it, so Farron is maybe not the best start here. Um Yeah, we are. I think with those items, the runners are skipping early Oriel despite the bottle. That makes a lot of sense. Ooh. Yeah, you've got to be careful if you're jumping off ledges here. Uh -oh. But. Makes sense that Dave wants a gold rupee. Um, you have no idea what Beetle is selling, and since it's not barren, you might need something there. And not a lot so far here in early Elden. Some money, some gratitude crystals. I think when Redrail doused, there was pretty much nothing pinging in this lower area. Um, I can give you that answer, Momo. Oh, wow. Okay, there's our Boko base path. Um, that is our fire shield earrings, which are required to get into Boko base. Uh, 
and they don't quite have logical access to enter Bo enter Gearheim too, but for 10 minutes into the seat, it's pretty close. Um, so Momo, uh, Redriel is fourth seed in Elden Group, and Nave is fifth seed. I guess pretty much pretty neck and neck on a uh, seating calculation. Yeah. Yeah, we see Nave uh, killing this pyre up or trying to. Got to back up like slightly here. Um, this pyre up will snipe you when you're trying to grab the bombs to uh, roll over the bone bridge. Um, which can probably cost you more times. So it makes sense to just kill it if you're a little nervous. Um. Yeah, it's really a bad cycle to that one. If you, I think if you're fast enough, generally you can dodge that pyre up. Yeah, it's... access for one roll, but after one roll, not so much. So. Yeah, I. I usually like run around the back of the other one to try and avoid aggroing that pyra because then you sometimes get more hit. That was close for Nave. Um, I don't know if that's the chest that was dassing though. Yeah, it looks like. Looks like it was not. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how the pyrobs work off sc off screen. It's been a while since I've missed the bomb or had to kind of learn in the early days, so. Yeah, and uh, we're seeing both both the runners try and fight. Um, fighting fighting these Bacoblins without a bow, definitely it's a little tricky. You want to kind of run away from them. Do you get far enough so you can hit them with the Skyward Strike? Um, if you're too close, then you'll hit them with the physical sword, which does less damage. Um, if you have a bow, though, you can one-shot all of them, which is why the bow is one of the greatest weapons in the game. Let's see what we get here. We got salad. Let's go. Salad, and got more it. gratitude crystals. So uh, we're probably not going to see either runner go to Petro until they get fifty or they last location. But uh, you want to get fifty at some point. Yeah, I feel like. Rushing Patro is really hard to justify most of the time, unless you like are trying to pursue a path hint. Like, oh, I, yeah. find I, I find I tend to just put it off until I get 50, which, you know, how optimal is that? I don't really know. Yeah, I think most people do in these settings because going out of the way for two or three checks doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, not not surprising that we're going to see Redriel climb Elden here. Um, technically, this is out of logic since the game expects you to have a bow or a slingshot to kill the Bokos, but um, there's a fairly uh, what was the word I was going to use? Fairly consistent run up on this one that you can do, and then dodging. The second set of Bokos, I think, is actually a little easier. Um, so getting a sword on their way. Yeah, to that's helpful. Temple. Yeah, 
Yeah. I thought the um, monster horn was another pair of mitts, and I was like, whoa. I thought so too, which was going to be kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so interestingly, well, because they don't have a projectile, the game's not expecting them to have access to Volcano Summit, but uh, Redriel could enter Fire Sanctuary now. It's probably not the right call um, until you run out of locations, but just interesting. Yeah, that was unfortunate death for Nave, getting bullied a little. Uh, yeah. That Fire first Sanctuary. Boko is... Sorry, you can get a call. Oh, no, I was just say, that first Boko is the one that's a little more of a troll that is harder to run by. Yeah, definitely. One thing about this dungeon combo is the Fire Sanctuary is kind of hard to route in, because if you do multiple trips, you end up losing quite a fair bit of time, just because the dungeon layout isn't very accommodating for return trips. Lots of areas that you have to retrack. So yeah. Most runners tend to try to put it off as long as they can until they get a good item set, which is generally enough to full clear, and then finish it. Yeah, and Neve is just getting getting bullied kind of hard by the Spoko, unfortunately. Um, I don't ever try and climb up this way without a slingshot or a bow, because I'm not very good at this. Yep. Um, like, the timing has to be pretty precise. Yeah, and there it goes. You kind of have to reach it on the side right as they're throwing the rock. Because um, if you reach before he grabs the rock, he's going to knock you over. Um, yeah, I mean, I what you were saying about Fire Sanctuary is true. I would not go into Fire Sanctuary until you're pretty much out of locations if you're doing it without Hook Beetle, Magma Mitz, Bellows. Because um, it just has a lot of item requirement, and like you said, um, backtracking is pretty hard. I think a while ago, Kit Cut did some dungeon timings, and it was around like a 20 minute full clear with, before the lava bridge already been activated. So, it takes a long time to do the dungeon, and in 20 minutes you could like, clear like multiple regions for pings, so like, it's kind of hard to weigh up that dungeon. Unlike the other ones. Yeah, def and definitely 15 minutes into a seat. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, there definitely are dungeons where going in and checking some things early makes sense, but uh, because Fire Sanctuary is kind of linear and backtracking is so hard, it, it definitely does not make sense. Um, other than gratitude crystals, we're not, we haven't found much here on the dig spots, but we'll see if infamous dig spot RPM spot gives us anything. Me when Raid isn't participating in the tournament. I can't guarantee a dig spot RPM from the runners anymore. There's still a fair number of runners who will do it, but I think if you already have bunk, if you already have mitts when you enter, um, you're not going to see runners do it because it just you're going to have to go by there anyway. Yep. I also I don't know what either of these runners' level of experience or familiarity with bit is, so I can't really say. Right. We're gonna see much. I have high hopes, at least. So I, I saw an early Zelda's room, so at least an attempt, so. Yeah. 
I guess we'll see. Yeah, and that was, other than the sword, not a whole lot in Upper Eldian. Um, this point, we probably will see both runners go and probably do Lake Floria and then maybe go to Skyview. Um, you don't really want to go to Thunderhead right now. You want to get one more sword so you can full clear it. Uh, you could do Lanaru with Salmon Potion logic, but Lake Floria makes a lot more sense. Um, I think you're going to hope you can find a beetle somewhere there. I also wonder if we're going to see... Oh, Sky is dead. Right, so we're not gonna see um we're not gonna see Sky, so that might be why we're not seeing early Oriel and Paro. I forgot about that hint. Ah uh, yeah, it's kinda of hard to justify rounding it in, but we did have that central path hint, so it might have yeah. surprised people to do it. Yeah, although I think with the items you have um, you can feel pretty good that it's either the Mitt or the Water Dragon scale. Sure. Ooh, Retrail using using the shield here on the Pocos. Smart. Usage of the resources that you have, yes. Yeah, I usually just try and run past those Babas and get hit every time. Yield's a pretty good fallback option in most cases. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's been a really nice quality of life to start with the shield. Because uh, there are just so many places in the game where it is a huge help in fighting. Yeah. Like it can't for Rando though. I don't think I would have ever learned like shieldless strats, so that's fair. Yeah, I just I think about like shieldless Scurvo. How awful that would be. Mm. It's just style backflips after style backflips, like Yeah. Nice thing about Farron being into dead is uh, you basically just get to run by here. Oh, this is really smart. Grabbing the mushroom spores for Oriel while you're in Farron. I always forget about it. I assume what will happen is he will route it um, in a way that after doing a Lanayru trip probably go back to Central to get those bottle related checks um sorry I'm All right. Looks like something, Redriel. Something. We should be back. Oh, we had a refresh. Yeah. Welcome back, viewers. Sorry We're about back. that. Didn't really miss much. Nave is getting the uh, scale, and Redriel is pursuing the Lake Floria. 
Sometimes I'm blanking on turns. Yeah, sorry, I was dealing with fixing the scene, so I haven't seen what's been in Floria, but... Um, Not a whole lot. Yeah. Really just hoping that there's a beetle here, I think. Because mm. um, you really want to be able to... You really want to be able to just full clear sky view. And there we go. Part of me was going to say that Farron being dead made me believe that it might be late in logic, but nope. Yeah. It's it's pretty hard for sky view to be late in logic. Uh, but it's also... The game definitely can't expect you to go in twice. Um, and it can for any dungeon, but because there's just kind of a low number of logical item requirements to clear sky view, the game doesn't tend to expect you to clear it super late. Um, Nave is going to Thunderhead here um, without White Sword. I didn't see if Nave checked the Isle of Songs or just dashed that one island. Got us hot and Lake Floria as well over there. If I, I were Redrail, I would consider going to Sealed Grounds and checking the song for Mimpa here because like it's out of the way but sealed grounds was not hinted barren and we've seen three checks that have nothing on it so unless it's just an unhinted barren region I think there's a pretty good chance there's going to be something on song for Impa which is not ideal. It's not something you necessarily want to do routing wise, but um, also, when are you ever going to come back here? Until the very end of the game. Imagine having both the worst regions in a seed being required. Uh, we can't always get lucky with uh, mm -hmm. Baron Sansi. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why people hate, hate Sansi. I just don't get it. It's so much better than it used to be. Uh, that is a pretty convenient bow, just because uh, the bow makes fighting pretty much every enemy much, much better. Um, I think people hate Sansi because it feels really slow and like there's not a lot of checks, but I think with the fast mode, it's really not that bad. That and the long check. Well, not the yeah. long check. I guess the worst check being hinted um, in Sansi, like, and having dowsing, it's generally pretty good. Yeah. I mean, also, to be fair, if the skydive chest has something, it does take a little bit of time to get to. That's true. Um, I see Redrill using his beetle very effectively to uh, aggro the Bokos, skip the cutscene. I don't know if it's a huge time save, but 
getting to do something active rather than um rather than just sitting through a cutscene feels better. I think it'd be faster to um to not force that cutscene as long as you don't try to skip it more than two times. Sure, you, or you can warp, it depends on your fancy when it comes to getting out of pirates. I love warping, it's really good utility. Yeah, it's a really nice, convenient thing to have. And then obviously once uh, with entrance randomizer, that's the main reason why why it was implemented, but it's a nice quality of life for a few things. And after after both our runners clear Farron, we're probably not going to see it for another hour plus. Depending on how long the seed takes. But it looks like our eyes will mostly be um, focused on Redrill as he'll be entering his first dungeon and the first to enter the dungeon. Yeah, I was about to ask if he doused Deepwood's chest before I remembered that Farron doesn't have anything. Yep. Remembering all the hints is hard. Uh, is Nave? Oh, Nave did backwards, Floria. Uh, right. I get, so I get why Nave did this. Um, I think in these circumstances, it's going to be a little slower. Just because Nave is going to get, Nave has that beetle, is going to want to go back. Um... Yeah, the which direction do you clear Floria is a uh, bit of a there's a lot of debate. Yeah, I don't know what uh, statues Nave has in Farron, but with these with these items, Nave is going to want to go back to. To fair in any way. Although he's maybe gonna do Colin's letter first. Did you see if either of the, the first two chests pinged in Skyview? Yes, they did. Both of them pinged. Oh wow. So uh Redriel, yeah. You've got to got to get this crystal because um, I don't think you can without claw shots. I think you need to do this. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe with scale you can. With scale you, you can get, get the it. second chest, and you should be able to reach the vines with swimming. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was forgetting about scale for a second. Oh, Nave executed early Zelda's room. I mean, let's go. It's a nice second bottle I have for Redrail for when you want to get into uh, Fire Sanctuary. Are we gonna see Nave? I don't think. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think we we're gonna see Nave do loose crystals, even though he has picked up two. Shame the uh, early Zelda's room didn't pay off. Yeah, I feel like that trick. I don't know. This is 
definitely like empirical bias, but I feel like uh, it does not tend to pay off that much. But it is still faster than doing it vanilla. So in that sense, it pays off. Mm -hmm. Huh. I think it's just it's nice to have in the back pocket to like deviate your path amongst your opponent. Yeah. Um, okay, that was really interesting. Uh, there is nothing on the digging spot, which makes me think that we have Garahim one path for the beetle with all the other beetles locked behind what's in the dungeon. Because mm. digging mitts didn't open anything here. And... Yeah, scale the scale lock required. check had nothing. Mm. And that was... Oh, wait. Wouldn't that mean that our um, central path wasn't resolved then? Oh, no. No, it would have been, because it would have directed you to Farron to get the beetle and stuff. Yeah. Was that a hook beetle that Nave got in beetle? Yeah, it was. Um, Yo. So that is looking like a beetle. Oh, that is two beetles beetle. locked by beetle. Because uh, I think I guess, right? uh, Harp was on the beetle check outside of. Right? Uh, I'm blanking right now. I'm thinking. Oh no! Yeah, Dragon okay. Slayer. Yeah. I think oh. it's just scale locked every projectile. Also, uh, we spotted him. He's in the shop for three hundred rupees. Oh, uh, I think I think nobody is gonna get Tim. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I, I, as uh, Sludgeon points out, or we do have a French language registry, and they actually do have the tumbleweed on their tracker as a meme item. Um, so maybe Regio will get it. You might be getting the discount just to buy it. No, no he doesn't have enough cash. No, he's got to get it to get the Triforce. True. I do like having that utility as a starting item, just to get cheaper prices, if you need oh, it. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a niche application. Yeah, and I mean, if you need a 300 and the first 100 item, uh, I think I had a seed where, like, one of the 300 was claw shots and the 100 was scale or something else. I was like, oh, I can use the discount to get both right here. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Looked like the chest in the three eyes room had something on it. Um, that could just be our boss key. But I can't tell from how things were dousing. Um. I don't know if Regirill is going to watch this back, but um, something interesting about these Deku Babas on this vine, uh, if you get on the vine and just hold A and walk, um, as long as you keep your balance, you will not get hit by any of the Babas because they just don't spawn out fast enough. I think we'll soon see if um, the back end of Skyview has anything. 
Yeah, this, okay, this was the chest. Both of them have something. Uh, did Redrail check the item locked behind the bars? Not I don't, sure. I don't think he did. But I might have claw missed that. shots. Yo, claw shots on the chest next to the boss door. That's gonna be really convenient for uh, for Lanayru. Um And I think I think we're gonna see Redriel go back and clear those upper skyloft checks, just like Nave did, and then clear Beetle. Uh, but yeah, with. The only thing that's missing to full clear Linear Desert now is is Bombag. Um, also, now officially they have access to Fire Sanctuary. Yeah, uh, and two items left from full clearing. No, three. Three items. Yeah, we know where one Triforce is. Uh, there's still that Triforce in Sansi. That is... Uh, Skipping out there. I'm, I'm hoping Redriel goes if if he did not, that he goes and checks that item locked behind bars, just because you don't want to orphan it. And uh, if it has something that could be bad, I'm kind of assuming will. he looked at it, but. He doesn't have the boss key, so he's going to have to go Oh, there. so it's got to be there. He's going to remember now. Oh, no. He knows he doesn't have boss key space. and nothing's dousing, so he knows there's only a few places it could be. I think he's going to realize. Yeah, I think he has. Yeah. So good. Yeah, he'll see it as soon as he goes through here. Um, having the boss key is probably better for him than any other item or any other useful mm -hmm. item could be. Because, like, if that was Gus Bellows and he forgot it, that would be rough. He's doing a little dance after seeing the boss key. Yeah. I think probably the way most runners get this in most seeds is just by whipping through through there. Um, so you just he's worried about the keys here, which is fair. These keys troll the living shit out of you. I think we're having a few uh, desync problems at the moment. Let me refresh. Luckily, we're not really seeing much new things. Oh. Yeah. If if we're looking at different things, you might just want to refresh the commentary page. Sometimes things get out of sync. Um, yeah. Yep. And yeah, Redriel is gonna fight Girahim one now. Um, having the long sword will help. This is one of the fights where uh, your sword level actually causes more damage. And yeah, this is a first phase of this fight, pretty straightforward. Um, Redriel got caught the first time, but 
got it the second time. Unfortunately, missed the uh, missed hitting Girahim when he charged the first time. The timing for that can be a little hard to get right. But gets it there. And that should be maybe one more hit. There we go. Yeah, as Froppy points out, if if you are worried, if you uh, parry with the shield, it will stun Girahim and let you wail on him a little bit. All right, it looks like I'm finally back. Must have been having an internet issue. Okay. Picks, you're playing in the tournament. You can't say this game stinks. Also, wait, Froppy, there's a randomizer for Quest 64. What's Quest 64? Uh, basically the only turn-based RPG on the Nintendo 64. Oh. Um, because, like, Square Enix and none of the other companies did anything. Uh, it's... It's not a very good game, um, but it has a bit of a cult following. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, that's our first dungeon completion on Redriel's side. Remember yeah. to grab the, the rupee that sits at the top of the pillar. Common mistake. Link's crossbow training rando. What would you even rando? The targets? Like. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think. So, Redrill not warping. Oh, it's probably going to go uh, to Oriel. So, so they can get the Paro checks. Um, that'll be one of the last things in Central Skyloft. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see Redriel get Tim. Just does not have enough money. Nope. But you never know. He could return just for the meme. I wouldn't, but not be Maybe crazy. Just time a runner went back to grab an item for the meme in the beetle shop eg jasnix bug net is that why we always at jasnix when we see a bug net i think something to do early on in season one because i watched the match where it happened um i think he just bought the bug net when he didn't need it and like was using it for something i think i can't remember it's been so long it's such an old meme I just that, know the that, result of the meme, which is, like, the fact that we add him every time. Yeah. Yeah. That um, was back in the days where Jasnix did, like, add a logic, like, AC, like, bruh. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll say for Nave the same thing I said to Redriel, which is, um, these Deku Babas you can actually run past pretty quickly and easily. Um... But I get why it feels safer to just kill them. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm saying to Nave what, what we said to Redrail earlier, just about those Deku Babas. Um, not that it really to... loses you time. Mm -hmm. A lot of runners tend to watch it back, so it's good to yeah. provide little hints. Yeah. There... There is a trick that Nave could have done to bypass this room, but it's a kind of precise hook beetle strat with a bomb. Probably not worth trying if you've never tried it before. Um, but uh, Ray Storm Thunder, who's in here, found this, uh, this interesting trick. Um, yeah, we are seeing 
So because Nave doesn't have a bow, but has the hook beetle, uh, using the hook beetle to grab a bomb is kind of the vanilla game, vanilla way to uh, kill those bokos since you don't have a bow in the vanilla game. Um, you can also skyward strike them, but that's kind of stupid precise. more comments on the hook beetle trick the uh the setup's pretty consistent but the window of actually hitting the crystal from behind the wall is like pretty minute so yeah if if you've seen it a couple times you generally can get it but it's definitely not one of those tricks you should just kind of yolo yeah. uh because basically failing it once you're not really saving time over just going through the room yep uh, but it is um, Ray has has been labbing and discovering a lot of cool tricks with bombs and beetles um, he also found another trick but I think it got patched uh, yeah it was the the spin attack to grab the item behind the bars, which was not intended. Oh, thank you. What about buying too? <laughs> <laughs> he did. Uh, for his race, I think that was the right call to not buy Tim. But I, I appreciate the commitment to the meme item. Impulse buy, impulse buy. <laughs> I think he's getting the discount because he knows he might need to get all 300 and the 50. Um, yeah. Because the 50 is a beetle, which may be logically required to get some things. Since uh, Hook Beetle does lock a few checks. So I, I don't think we're going to see Tim here. Sludgeon's $20 gamble or something. <laughs> Imagine. No way. What? He's buying it. <laughs> With two beetles there, which is... I mean... Oh my god. I, I appreciate it, but... Uh, Redriel also... Does not know that there is a Triforce there. No. Uh, it should be fine. Because money can be super easy to find. Um, even if Redro uh, loses the race, he is the winner in our hearts. Well, I just lost $1,000. Um. <laughs> There's still a chance. Or do you bet on neither? No, nah, I bet on neither, so I'm out. <laughs> Me and Cube are gone. We lost our money. It's legend the favorite to win right now. Yeah. Three people did bet on Red Drill for this gamble. Um, oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Red Drill is going to betray here with only 40 gratitude crystals. Um, oh. Oh. Back left that off. should work. Yes. Oh, no, we did not. No. Oh, no, this is based off your initial position. That's correct. Yeah, that's why you have to do it off the second one. Yeah. I think, I mean, Regirail backflipped and I think it was just a mistake. Um, yeah. yeah. I think knew knew what he had to do, but he, he accidentally backflipped off the middle one. Um, yeah, the way this, this trick works to go to Betrayal without the door is your last ground position defines like what loading zone you're in. Um, there's not really a vertical aspect to it. It's just horizontal, I think. Um, I see Petro here. 
Us two is always junk in these settings, so we'll find out what beyond a betrayal. But uh still looks like junk to me. Yeah. Um Oh, it's pinging. Alright, let's Let's see maybe a sword. Crystals! <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, hey, buddy. You need five more of those. Take these. That that is a uh, a pick six disappointment if I've ever seen one. Take this. It's too dangerous to do ten blues. <laughs> I mean, we've we've got the the resonant loose crystal enjoyer in commentary with me, so I I can't talk about not doing loose crystals. I think. Redrial thinking. Yeah. And Lanayru is really the only option here at this point. Um Yeah, well that'll fire sanctuary, but no one wants to go there. You don't want to go fire sanctuary without Magumits or Bellows. Like If you can guarantee you can get to the statue, then maybe you do it, like without bomb bag, but Yeah. A little bit risky. Yeah. A little bit of a gamble. So it looks like only this first chest in mind is pinged, which means they're gonna be able to skip it and just go straight to caves. Yeah. Pretty convenient routing when they already have the claw shots. Will Retrohill love it or hate it? We'll see if he, uh, the, the universal sign of displeasure in SSR is, uh, slashing your sword a few times at a chest, an NPC, uh, did not see that, so. I mean, he technically needed it, so. True. Well, that's 50 cent, uh, was not. Yeah. Shouldn't be hinted very often in these settings. Nope. And, oh, that's a tough beetle. So that definitely confirms our water dragon scale was our path because it locked uh, every beetle and every projectile. And a bow. Uh, for Nave, that's... Oh, no, that's the second one. Rajiro is about to get the quick beetle. Yeah, with that, Rajiro is never going to have to go get that beetle. Oh, Nave accidentally picking up that bomb. Which uh, does slow the beetle down. Bomb bag, hello. Yeah, that is. Um, well that will allow them to full clear desert, which is really nice. Once again, gorge cracked. What did it have in RC yesterday? It had bits. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Coincidentally, for a path for a fire sanctuary. That's crazy. Yeah, at this point, um, we're really just, we're looking for Magma Mitz and uh, Bellows. 
Add another caves key since we know that it is required based off the Triforce being in Sand Sea. Yeah. But at least I think if you get Bellows and uh, Magma Mitts, you're going to feel good about going Fire Sanctuary. Yeah. Interesting to see how late the Caves Key will be. I'm only one chest pinging here, which is the one by Lightning Node, I think. I think so. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily save a lot of time because you still kind of have to traverse the entire uh desert yeah well, the... there has a lot of potential when it comes to knowledge and thinking and tech density but it just takes a while because of the movement across the areas of Lanayru desert yeah it is i would say with chastising going to Lanayru with the with just stamina potion logic is not as bad as it used to be. Um, yeah. Sheely on the information alone, it's good to have in the back pocket. Yeah, because there's there's only one check that you can't douse, um, which is this robot. Like everything else is a chest somewhere. Oh, is it secret passageway? Got at least one chest here in Fire Node. Um, I think both runners are going to be hoping that the back of Fire Node has nothing. Um, dowsing this area can be a little weird because from the front, the chest can overlap a little bit. Um, sometimes it makes sense when you get to where the. Uh, yeah. When you get to where the, the crystal is. It's a good idea to douse the back from there since you get a better angle, you don't get as much overlap. Because uh, getting the back of Fire Node is a lot slower. I wonder if the beetle has enough distance to cover the... It's cover tough beetle, blocks. so it should. Um, I don't know if hook beetle would, but... Tough beetle... tends to be... tends to have a pretty long time range. Like, lifetime. Which yeah. here, that's really what you're fighting, is uh, how long it lasts, not... Both of them. Hey, at the back here. The fire node. There's our cave key. key. And a sword. That's pretty nice. Fire node is stacked. I think Nave was just trying to run past that, but... Yeah, because of the dowsing. Yep. Yeah. And whip. That is... Okay. Uh, considering you're about to go to Sansi here, I think that's a pretty useful item to have. Because um, yeah, that whip lets you terrible. clear the last, last two checks in Skipper's Retreat, which are uh, everyone's favorite checks in the game. Damn, the receipts are really telling you go to Sansi in that area. Combining it's got a Triforce, so makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Runners are, I mean, they're neck and neck at this point. Um, 
Nave has checked one thing in Thunderhead that Redrail has not. Uh, Redrail has checked sealed grounds, which didn't end up paying off, uh, and Petro, which also hasn't paid off. But they've they've basically checked the same things. They've basically followed the same route. Uh, I think that's going to continue the entire way. Yep. I wonder how long Redrial off in that uh, Triforce in Beagle Shop there. My guess is as soon as he has 200 rupees and goes back. What did Tim cost him the race? Let's hope not. No, that would be that would be tragic, and no one would ever meme. We can't have that. No, we we do not want to be a meme free zone. Um. Oh, was that our fifth bottle? Nice thing is that reduces the number of junk pings. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know we'd seen a lot of bottles, but I couldn't remember how many. And the, the crazy thing about this is we're going to be around an hour and 20 and have less than 25 checks left, I think. Maybe less than 30. Um... The seed is just giving them a lot of items pretty early. <laughs> Picks would rather meme and lose than not meme and win. And Robo would rather just Nerd. meme and win. Uh, Picks, are you scouting out your competition here? We still haven't seen your race yet. And we're seeing, just because Redriel is going to pick up this, this Amplis, is going to get through here slightly faster. And like, Really, I think unless we see some strange divergence, it's going to be like very little things like this on execution that just... Oh. <laughs> and it's the slingshot. Banana. Um, I assume Red Grill is warping to start to... Thinking about loose crystals, I think. Now. Um, okay. I thought it was going to warp to start and just go drop down to Gorge, but I think... I think it is probably slightly faster to just... go to the statue and warp out than to warp to start here. I think if they combined it with going to... um. Like the Gorge statue would have been all right. Yeah. <laughs> Pix, there's nothing about that sentence that shows any respect for your opponents whatsoever. Just to be clear. Yeah, and I, you know. As someone who does loose crystals, I get why Nave is doing this here. Um, you're on Skyloft. This is the last thing other than the the bird's nest, which um, Nave actually could use the white sword to douse up there. But um, 
that's not something necessarily everyone feels comfortable with because if you get your dowsing off and forget to change it, uh, bad things can happen. Um, but a pretty clean three crystals. So I think Nave started with 47. And if Patro 50 has something useful, this could be a pretty big advantage. So I don't hate the play, but also I'm a loose crystal enjoyer. So I don't know if the seed's telling you to do loose crystals. You're going to do loose crystals. Like, yeah, like if this is Gus Bellows or Magomet, uh, it'd be huge. Oh, nope. nope. So, the tro, basically barren. The classic Betro Baron blocked by more gratitude crystals to get nothing. And really worst of all, this is gonna validate Pick's decision to uh always go to Betro with forty five. <laughs> Love you, Picks. You yeah, like we have a bit of a meme stir in the chat. Bit of a joker. Yeah, now this, I mean, again, it's a pretty neck and neck race. Redriol has maybe like a 20, 30 second lead getting into Sansi. Nothing massive here. Um, in a race where they're basically just doing the same things in the same order, it's being ahead a little bit is a nice cushion to have, even if you have no idea. Yep. And yeah, I mean, I think the, the two things our runners are really looking for here besides the into Triforce is uh, Bellows and that that looks like the Cactus and Skydive Chest. Uh, Bellows and Mago Mints. Finish, finish my thought. Yeah, Ray, I think, though, we're going to see Redriel go and check Beetle the next time he warps out. My guess is he's going to fire warp out of Pirate Stronghold and go to mm. Beetle. Although he doesn't have enough money to get both 100 items right now. to remove frogs from the game. I think these are spumes and frogs I think are the uh, the things in um, Lake Floria. They're the things that float in the water or in the air. Yeah. Oh, they're puffer fish are in Floria. Uh, Ooh, that yeah. was Magomet on Thunderhead. Um, Excuse me. Too early in the morning. You've also just worked a night shift, haven't you? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Um, Nave is probably still going to go to Sansi here. 
Um, and up. Uh, kind of broke a base. Yeah, I mean, if Bellows are here, that's going to be really nice. Um, Nave can clear eight of the nine checks in Boko base, and it's just going to be hoping that the Bellows lock chest has nothing, or that, well, or that Bellows are here. I've never seen this before. Yeah, Skyward Strike to kill the, the birds. Yeah, no revive. Unfortunately, Redrail out of arrows, but it's nice. Oh, it works. Um, did Redrail miss the chest that? Pinged on um, the cactus pillar. Oh. Uh, this is, I, I will say, it is not easy to douse here um, from the front. The chest can look very familiar. Hopefully, he will douse. Uh, he realizes. He's going. That's good, because going back this way is a lot faster than having to uh, climb all the way up. Um, yeah, dowsing, dowsing here can be very difficult. Um, unfortunately, though, going backwards here also is not the easiest thing because these p-hats don't always line up right but i think you'll get it uh these p-hat cycles going reverse are i think trickier than oh yeah, he's all right he can he just has to wait for the knee to move up a bit. Yeah. Hey. No, I was worried he was too low and he was gonna fall off. But... Fall off again, yeah. Um. So far, a whole lot of nothing here in Boko Base. It looked like lower Boko Base was dead, upper Boko Base only has Gratitude Crystals, and of course... Regera went back for the mighty scatter shot. Uh. So Regera is like two of three for our meme items at this point. The only thing he's missing is the bug net for full meme percent, I think. a nice sword for Retrail. Um, friend robo jumper with a fun uh meme race for for april 1st although we do not have sadly do not have a uh, april 1st race hey if this is mogamates this is pretty good for nave 
or not Bago, it's Bellows. Um, or even a sword would be good, but Redrail is going to get here pretty soon. Ream in the SSR dev discord to um, make Tumbleweed and Bugnet a condition for uh, the end game. I mean, or it could just be once you get all three items, you get warped to the end. <laughs> I mean, there there's some other randos where you have like alternate wing conditions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is five bottles. Um, and I imagine, for Redrick, imagine say, getting, sorry, no, you were talking. Um, imagine having the wind condition send you to, to demise, and there's just 10 demises, and it's just the gruesome <laughs> music. <laughs> Have you ever fought two demises? Yes. I have not. Um, I'm not good at one demise. Uh, my understanding is 10 demises is, is basically just an RNG fest. Yeah. And it lags like crazy. Um, now I was saying if Redro found money, it would be good for him to, to get it. And he did get that money. So he knows he might have to go get more. Um, I am starting to think we'll see what's here. There's a decent chance Bellows is just in Fire Sanctuary. Yeah, not sure. See what the key logic bestows upon us. Um, really though, the really last weird. item we're looking for for go mode besides that is the sword. Hmm. We don't know where this Triforce is in Fire Sanctuary, but... Yeah, that's fair. Hopefully it's not a absolute troll location. Uh, I didn't... There was at least one ping in the final chest in Pirate Stronghold. I don't know if the other two did. Uh, I thought I saw multiple, but I could be tripping. It's hard, and yeah, that is it's behind. Yes, yeah, the last one. I think. That's the second. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So then, two chests pinged here, because uh, the chest at the end definitely did as well. Oof. Imagine if Bellows are in the boss key chest and the seed is requiring you to basically go backwards and uh, free the second Magma for the Triforce. Oh, I'm just thinking about like... Because <laughs> I think about what's the worst thing that the seed could do. You're a monster. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, you can shield bash a beam back at the beamos. It's just the timing of it is, I think, a little more precise than some other shield parries, if I remember. There's oh, our Sansi Triforce. Okay. Hold chance. Sword and Triforce in Sand Sea. Let's go. Redrill getting Warding. trolled by those Babas. If you time it right, you can run past all three of them, but they they tend to be a little troll.
Oh, bellows. There's our yeah. bellows, which Rumhold. that could be okay for Nave or could be really bad. It really depends on where the third small key here is. Um, if the third small key is on... Uh, oh, Master Sword. Oh, we know, we know where all the swords are. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we now uh, know where everything is. Roughly. We're just missing knowledge on one Triforce. Oh, yeah. We know it's general area, though, so it's good enough. And yeah, I mean, know. I guess... If either the Triforce or the Small Key are locked behind Bellows, um, that could be bad for Nave. The Small mm. Key is much worse. Yeah, because then you can't backtrack. Unless you do an RBM. Sorry, I need to step away for one quick minute. I will be right back. Yeah. Our drill doing some cleanup in Thunderhead. Way probably to Fire Sanctuary. I'd also do some Skyloft cleanup. With that rowdy. Probably gonna get his Pogma mitts pretty soon. Really, just all eyes on Nave at the moment to find out what is going on in Fire Sanctuary. Pogma mitts. <laughs> Yo. Has bad lols. <laughs> That's so good. Lovely, lovely. Uh, I have to refresh my feed. Bear with me. I assume I have not really missed much. Uh, other than chat, uh, using emotes and memes to describe items, no. Okay. Not sure what the pings are like in the water pod room. Yeah. Still just waiting for Redriel to go back to uh Looks like neither chest pinged here. Um who's ahead? I think Redriel is ahead at this point because it is looking more and more likely like Nave is gonna have to backtrack all of Fire Sanctuary. Um, for something locked behind the bellows, which we're in Sansi. For his sake, we hope that he gets a key from this magma. Yes. Yeah, small key here would be best case scenario. For Nave, at least. Um... Redriel, not really going to get punished by not going back for that Triforce, but um, potentially could could speed things up a little bit in, if he knew that it was there. It might cause him to full clear. So, yeah, that's the root. That's kind of the only question. Um, he's actually skipping Boko Base, which we know. Ooh. Uh, never mind. Oh, 
offer us like this kind of a trial. And I'm like, huh? It's gonna be a few months before we see trials. Thank God. Oh no! There's no smokey. Oh, it's that's unfortunate. Yeah, I I think we can say pretty clearly now then that that Redrail is ahead. Um, I mean, even if he knows the bit warp, we don't know what's locked behind the second trap magma, right? So he can he can douse to yeah, see if there's something on that chest, but. Um, this isn't even the best place to do the bit warp from if he knows it. Um, he might even do the statue manip if he knows it. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Oh, uh, nah. He's just gonna leave. Probably pursue yeah, the sand scene. Yeah, yeah, I think the, the statue Harvey am rather than the bit warp is what you do here. Anyway. Yeah. It warps a bit slow. But, yeah, it's not a trick that every runner knows. Um, so. The statue one in particular is a bit finicky because in order to get the crystal to appear inside Paro's... Is it Paro? I think it's Paro. Uh, yeah. You can't have any file selected while going to sleep. So it's a little tricky. You have to use the tutorial menu. Yeah, it's like any files. It is. It's the only RBM I know, and I would say it's easy. But if you have never done it before, it's not going to be easy. Um, you also got to keep in mind that uh, if, in the niche case that you picked up that crystal and it got you to a, an extra, the ability to grab an extra uh, deck, throw, it wouldn't be allowed to be used in that application. You didn't need grab another loose crystal in order for you to grab an, another patrol check that would be caught that would be duplication and that is not allowed rules yeah out. not an issue because nave has full cleared patrol yeah but yes i've only ever seen that come up once and that was in a race with floha and someone else floha duped it and then needed to grab an extra crystal he luckily remembered to grab it. Yeah, it can be an easy thing to forget about, but yeah, if you did not grab that extra crystal, it would be a uh, disqualification. Yeah, worst way to disqualify, to be honest. Yeah. Generally what tends to happen, Froppy, is you're like at 45 and then you do a bit of loose crystals to get to 50, but then you forget that you duped the crystal, so that's the only real case where someone forgets to. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get duke DQ'd because of it though, so... Yeah, like I think most people races. know know the rule if they do that RBM. Um, but not going to be an issue this seed. Um, yeah, so really, I think I think Redriel is pretty solidly ahead um, because he he did go to Sansi first. Yep. And the only thing I think that could cost him at this point is if he last locations uh, Beetle somehow. Yeah, we might have but to he... uh, add that to the strat list. Sorry, go on. Yeah. No, that's a fair point. I will. Maybe someone will remember here. <laughs> yes, Froppy, I... I did do five loose crystals when I had 50. Reading is very important in this game. I think best case scenario for Nave is 
the boss key is somewhere locked behind those bellows, and then Redriel has to full clear Fire Sanctuary because he didn't get the Triforce piece. So the shop. That would give him a bit more time to catch up. It's such an it's cause um the next check Oh no it's not. I thought, next no. checks are seventy. Seventy, yeah. I don't it's really know. It's probably why just anything. because it's been so rare that we do races with anything over fifty. Except for the once a year all sanity. So uh the difference between fifty, sixty, and seventy is not massive. If for some reason we started racing with that 70 in logic, maybe it would matter, but even then, it's probably not a huge deal. <laughs> Picks. It's new now with with True Master Sword. Um, gonna get the second one soon. Yeah, low low batteries should be good. Although uh, I did, I watched one of the highly group matches that just had a French stream, where a gymnast lost a minute because he ran out of batteries and had to replace them mid season. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Sledge in hundred percent Redrial. Redrill's go mode is the Triforce on Beetle. He at least was aware he needed to grab some money. So I think he knows he has to go back. Because uh, yeah. he, he grabbed some money in Sansi. I wonder how close the race actually is because of that. I wonder how long it'll take for Nave to get back through Fire Sanctuary. Yeah, I mean, most of the enemies will be dead. And you can skip a couple rooms, but it's probably two to three minutes. Mm. Maybe a little less. Um, I couldn't... Yeah. Did the balcony chest have... Was that the sword? Yes, it was. Yeah, I'm remembering where things are now. Okay. Because that's the only chest in the front half. Or before the, uh, the bellow stuff that pinged. Yep. I mean... Uh, Nave is not necessarily going to be that far behind. Mm-hmm. The, the problem for Nave is just having to re-enter and, and go through is going to take time. Yeah. Like, it's I think really he's going to be re-entering around when Redriol is finishing the second Magmanos fight. Yep. Yeah. It's 
really going to come down to the boss key and the Triforce placement, whether this race is going to be close or not. Yeah, and just where does Redrill go after mm. this dungeon? What does he have left, though? He doesn't have much. Yeah, I th I think... Did you do Zelda's room and... Um... And Colin's letter already? Not sure. I think he didn't he skip Boko Base as well, or am I tripping? No, he did go back for Boko Base. Okay. Um. So he could go for those. He could do Bat Fifty before Beetle. Um. Yeah, there's a hinted Triforce in Fire Sanctuary, but we don't know where it is at the moment. We know it's in the back half, so. Yeah, I mean, I, ideally, Redrail is going to check Beetle before he checks any of these kind of slower, more isolated checks. But we just don't know, and that that could determine it. I mean, this also could come down to who has better boss fights. Mm. Well, Nave's not far off getting his bellows, so... We should, we should start seeing Nave close the gap soon. Yeah, he's having had a little trouble in some of these rooms here in Stronghold, but... Yeah, I, I think the problem for Nave is just having to backtrack through back half, back half of Fire Sanctuary, or front half. Yeah. Um, it's just an unfortunate amount of time he's got to use. Yeah. And I also don't know... If you don't have a small key... I mean, even if he had done Statue RBM... Can you actually even backtrack through that door without a small key? No. Yeah, so... No matter what, Nave would have had to backtrack the whole way through the dungeon, even with the RBM. Yeah, it's really if you wanted to gamble those checks or not. Yeah, you basically have to gamble your Triforce and Boss Key are in one of the three back half chests, which is possible. Mm, luckily, um, only one required item can be in the middle, so that would have been a decent play. Yeah, but if you, also if you don't know the RBM, a race is definitely not the time to try it for the first time. No. Another interesting thing as well, the boss key has to be before the boss, but ne not necessarily the trifle piece, so there's a lot of options for the placement. Yeah, that's a good point. The Triforce could be on on the, one of the two boss rewards. Um, yeah, it's just, like... I was in Nave's shoes yesterday of gambling that maybe Bellows would be in Fire Sanctuary. And it's not necessarily a bad gamble to make with so few checks left. Um, although knowing that Sansi had something you'd have to get to beat the seed maybe makes that gamble less worth it than it did like when you don't think Sansi has anything. We'll soon find out if there's a ping um, for the chest behind the bumble wall to confirm if there is anything in the middle other than a yeah. small key. I mean, I think we're Redrail knows something is there, so he's just going to go. And yeah. I don't think... Um, again, I don't think Redrail plays with a lot of bit, but even if he did, not really worth it when you're here. Yeah, we'll yeah, it's, it. Yeah, as Sludgeon said, it really does come down to where does Redrill go? Because Nave is going to be in go mode first, potentially. I think Redrill might death warp back or save scum.
Well, you can't save Scum, but... I think what he's doing is he's going to die once he gets a small key, because he might know that there's... Or whatever he needs yeah. from this area, just to walk back to the statue. Yeah, he'll probably let one of the Bokos shoot him out here to maybe, like, slightly skip one room. It's not a huge skip, but it's a little something. Or he might just die on one of the water fruit in here. Yeah, it so look it looks like it's pingy. Yeah, I think it's just the magma, so. I am so bad at this puzzle. Because if you come in at the wrong orientation, it's really easy to just forget which way to go. I should have looked at what time Redrill entered this tunnel to kind of it was around. Count how far. I think it was one forty-two or something. Yeah, I mean, Nave is only. He's not that far behind. Yeah, like... yeah, it's it's not huge. Yeah, I think this race is really going to come down to Redrill, boss keep, and Triforce placement, and boss execution. It's going to be pretty close. Yeah. I mean, I would even consider if you're in not in Redrill's shoes, in Nave's shoes, where you know you're one item from go mode, if let's say, like, you're gonna check the plat chest, if that has your boss key, you'd have some stuff pings later. I would consider just doing Gearheim first and then potentially flying back in uh, to do the boss key chest and the staircase chest and just kind of gambling here. Although that said, there's not actually that much junk left in the item pool. There's one or two gratitude crystal packs, and no, that might be it actually. I think um, so. There's no so, bottles. So. Yeah, so actually, I, I take that back. If you get a ping, I think you probably do do them. I think there's only really a couple of crystal packs and a couple of bows. That's it. We've got all three bows. Oh, we've, we've got, got, we've got, got sacred shots. Bow. Yeah, yeah, I th I think it might only be one crystal pack. Yeah. Because uh, Redrail's at 60, and I don't think he got any loose. We have five yeah. bottles, both slingshots, three bows. Um, but it can, it can be really hard to keep track of all of that in real time. Um, Did we see the pings in this back half? No. Redrill just came here first. Um, I mean, uh, catching plats also could be a huge factor here. Mm. Plats has a way of trolling people pretty hard. I think Redrill. No. Oh, I scared but... him a little. Oh no. A little bit finicky this this one. Yeah. There we go. There you go. I say it's really finicky. Um Alright, 
Knife knows he doesn't need to do that. He's gonna head back to the back half of FS. There's the Triforce. So boss key then is in either the staircase chest or the boss key chest. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Um, boss key chest is the slower place. Looked like there's only one thing to doused back there. Yeah. Probably the worst case scenario for Nave here, unfortunately. Uh, and yes, Jasnix, that Triforce is go mode. But yeah, I, I agree because I think if you were in Nave's shoes, you were hoping maybe you could skip something. Um, yeah, Redreal does not know where that Triforce is. Okay, yeah. that is the Bosky chest. Um, mm. Regiel's go mode is on Beetle. It's the, the Triforce on the third hundred item. Um, instead of buying all the items, Regiel got Tim, which he's a fan favorite for that. But um, that does mean he doesn't know he's in, he doesn't know how close he is. Ooh, that was. Really solid on those Alphos. Yeah, he did the shield strat. But, uh, Prones, both of them at once, which is nice. Yeah, you can't, unfortunately, can't Fatal Blow both of them, but this is a pretty solid fight. So... The, the French restream actually tracks Tim on their tracker. So that could be part of it. Um, wait, is that staircase chest also? Oh, if that's the boss key, that's going to help Nave. Mm. Hopefully. I'm praying. Yeah, we'll see. This could also just be our last crystals. Oh. Yo! Some small time save coming up for Nave here. The earlier boss key. I mean, that's gonna be... <sighs> that could be really bad for Redrail. Yep. Um... That's a decided, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's it's close. It's real close now. Oh boy. Oh no. I mean, I think there's still gonna be some endgame stuff. Nave hopefully knows he doesn't have to do this digging spot. Yeah. Um Oh, I thought that was going to stop him from blowing that up. I should have looked at what the time was when Redriel got the boss key. Uh, mm. I wish I had. Sorry, we can look at the uh, boss entrance instead. Yeah, I'm just, I was thinking we could use that as a baseline for like how much time Redriel loses yeah. by having to do this boss key sequence. Oh, uh, yeah, true. For what is assuredly a gratitude crystal pack. Like, I, I don't think it could be anything else. Hmm. Just thinking about what's left that could ping, I, I really do think the gratitude crystal pack is the only thing left. Oh, narrowly missing. Yeah, that was not a bad Moldorm fight by any means, though. Um, Go. 
I think like Nave had a slightly better fight or Redrio had a slightly better fight here on the Lizalfos. Oh boy. And yeah, I mean, I, I think how the runners do on G2, gear him two, gear him three, and demise is gonna be huge. Um, it's like your nerves are already really, you're already really tense. Um, Yeah, so Redriel on his tracker has nine locations accessible. Um, no, five. Uh, I don't know if he's cleared the dungeon, but those five checks are two items on Beetle, Betro 50, and then I think the other two are Zelda's Closet and um, Pollen. Bird's Nest is one. Oh, yeah. We got the Dungeon Ender time now. Yeah. It's, I mean, this is going to be 35 seconds, 40 seconds. Yeah. And we could be looking at boss RNG, boss execution. Redrill doing a pretty good job here so far. Yeah, gear him too with true master sword is pretty nice. Yeah, so we're looking at a minute and like four seconds of time difference from entry. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, if if Redriel does not go directly to Beetle, then I think he loses the race. Mm. Or or at least he he is putting it at risk. Um because Nave will probably gain 20-ish seconds at least on just being able to go straight to sealed grounds. 20 to like. Redro went to the sky, like right on 157. Um, Nave is probably going to be going right around a minute after. Uh, no, I, I think if he's not fire warping, he might still be going to beetle. Um, cause from where he was, it might be faster. Hmm. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. That is, that is GG's I think for Redriel. I don't know what he thinks is still in. Oh, this is Gorge Diggs. This is Gorge Jig Spot. Oh. oh, that's really unfortunate. I Ooh. I appreciate Red Drill for the meme, but that 100% lost him this race. Um. Oh, man. It's like... <laughs> On the one hand, he is the people's champ. On the other hand, this is really brutal. So his his five checks that were left were Gorge Jig Spot, Bird's Nest, Bat 50, and the two Beetle checks. 
Universe really did say, do not meme, do not meme. Oh no, he's checking his hands. Now he's going to Beetle. I mean, look, like there's still a chance with with execution, but we're looking at a fine line here. Yeah, I mean, it, it's Navis is going to be a solid like two-ish minutes going in. I I think it's pretty. I I think. This is Name's race. Um, yeah, now he's going to the bird's nest. So he he is probably last location ing. Um, yeah, it it's gonna be a three plus minute advantage. So I don't even know. Rodriel is is not really even gonna be entering. May not be entering G3 by the time May finishes. Mm. Like, it's one of those things where. I, I can appreciate getting the meme item, but uh, getting it on Beetle when you might need to get other items is one of the worst places to do it. Um, it was a really good race, but I, I do feel bad because we were very happy when Redriel got Tim. Um, yes, and happy two hours. Uh, can follow our runners. I dropped the command, and thanks to our trackers, Cube David and Sludgeon, as well as my co commentator, Pac Man Power Ghosts. Um, I mean, the thing I'd say is it's a race, and winning is maybe more important than the meme. Unfortunately, that is that is the truth. I'll as much as you want, but at the end of the day, we're here to finish the game as quick as possible. Yeah, Nave with a pretty solid phase two so far, getting all three hits both times. Um, that is better than most of my phase twos. Yeah, I mean, that, that is also fair, Froppy. Um, yeah, Red Rule is going to be entering G3 as Neve is finishing up Demise. Mm. Yeah, not getting that, not getting that Triforce cost him Probably upwards of seven to eight minutes. Just on that decision alone. A bit unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, and there's not like a lot else to say about Red Drill, because I think he played pretty well overall. Hmm. Had a had a better um like execution wise when it comes to getting their checks done quicker, but yeah, it's just unfortunate that one decision's really costed him the whole race. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and again, Nave with a pretty clean phase one and solid phase two. So far, don't want to curse it. And yeah, there is GG's for That's Nave. GG for Nave. Oh boy. Hopefully, we can get Nave in here for some chats. Yeah, he's going to come in for an interview. Um, Let's go. Red Reel's going to finish off the race as well. Enough. Yeah, Red Reel, I've seen this before, does this kind of spin attack strategy to, to knock, to do phase one. Um, you got to be careful to avoid the hits. I don't know if this is actually faster or slower, but ooh, he's, yeah, and, uh, Checking to see if Nave has joined. Um, yeah. Keep a lookout for it. Yeah. Oh well, I was on the edge of my seat for two hours, so. Yeah, I mean, it, like, the runners were just neck and neck for most of the race. Um, it was fun to watch. Also, and... like to uh, give a reminder that uh, none of our runners uh, did a break of two hours, but you just point that out. Probably should remember that in future. Yeah, they talked about it and uh, decided not to. Oh, okay, cool. All right. And here's Nave. Hello, G -G Nave. GG's. Man. I... How are you feeling? I. <laughs> I am, I, I don't know how to feel right now. I'm just surprised, I guess. I'm really happy, obviously. I thought as soon as I loaded into the sea, checked the hints and saw gear him too, I thought, oh no, nah, it's over. I can't do Fire Sanctuary. Uh, I've only ever done si Fire Sanctuary once before, and it was following KitKat's video guide. And I did the same thing today, so shoutouts to KitKat for his uh, routing videos. Well, I just want to say, uh, in my first 20 races, I forfeited basically because of Fire Sanctuary. So, you're doing better than me when I started out. So, props to you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah I it really, see it, I want to. It was a really solid Fire Sanctuary. Like, I don't think we could have told that it was your second time doing it. Um, no. Yeah, so you and Redriel were neck and neck, basically doing the exact same things, with one exception, until you went into Fire Sanctuary, he went into Sansi. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk about this, but the, the thing that you did that Redriel, the big thing was Redriel bought the tumbleweed instead of buying all the hundred items on people. Oh, no. And so he was searching for that last Triforce. Um, he actually exited G2 ahead of you. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really unfortunate, I think, for Redrail. Um Yeah, man, let me tell you about beetles, all right? So I failed Waterfall backwards twice. Uh, which had the scale in it, and then the scale led to the first beetle, which I used to get to Shopkeeper Beetle, who had, was it one or two more beetles? I think he had two more beetles, and then he had the Triforce. And it just, it took me so long to even get to that point. I was like half an hour before I had any B-wheel item uh, getting that first beetle, yeah. so... I wasn't happy about that. Once I got the scale, finally, I was like, okay, it's over. I know Redriel probably got this super early, but... And then, as you're mentioning with um, Sansi versus Fire Sanctuary, I kind of, I mean, you said you couldn't realize it was my second time in FS, but I didn't really know that I needed Bellows. I thought maybe I did, but wasn't sure, so I went in without it and hoped if I did need it, it would just be there. Uh, I knew I needed to go to Sansi for the Triforce at some point, 
Obviously, I should have just gone there first. Oh, that's um, unfortunate. Redrill just took a death in Demise uh, without a fairy. He, yeah, he's been playing really solidly, but has been struggling, I think, with the end game now. Um, you actually did not get to Beetle that much later than Redrill because both of you went to Elden first, mm. and then you went to Waterfall Cave. Um, like, when I say you two were neck and neck the entire time, like, you did a few things out of order, but basically you two went to Floria at the same time. Uh, you two went to Lanayru at the same time. Like, for the first hour and 20 minutes, you two were basically doing the same thing. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of surprised by that. I feel like... Uh, when it comes to Skyward Sword, I feel like I'm not as good at routing it as maybe like Wind Waker or something. So I feel like I am kind of just on the fly routing. But to hear that someone else was also doing something similar to what I was makes me feel like maybe I was doing something kind of right. Yeah, Both I mean, of us I were. we, I don't know, speaking from what we saw, like I think the the seed was clearly directing you in a certain way for the first hour plus it felt that way yeah i was trying to follow certain hint paths and whatnot where it could yeah yeah i feel like your only blunder was not prioritizing the triforce in uh Linaria sand sea and hoping to get some items up that way before entering fs that's just my critique there yeah it Other definitely that, was, was fine. Having to leave FS, especially before, I mean, you know, before you can even get to the middle of the dungeon. Oh, GG to Redrill, by the way. Yes, yeah, GG. we just saw Redrill finish off. I think he's going to come in for an interview as well. Um, yeah. But having to leave Fire Sanctuary before you can even hit the mid, uh, the mid dungeon warp point. Uh, having to go back to Sand Sea and then go back to Fire Sanctuary and do it again, definitely. A, Kind of sucks. I definitely should have done Sansi first, which yeah. props to Red Reel on that read there. Definitely I, been better. Yeah, I mean, I I did the same thing you did going to Fire Sanctuary without Bellows yesterday. Although that was more because of a mistake for me. But when you have that few locations, I get why you would at least consider it like a decent gamble to hope that your Bellows are there. Um... Could have worked out, didn't. That's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, you took the W, so... Yeah, that's, really. that's true. I felt uh, really bad for, like, the first 30 minutes. Um, I feel like when I start a tournament race, especially on Restream, I'm really nervous for, like, the first half hour. After that, I start to feel really collected, and I feel like execution and stuff was generally... Maybe not perfect, but generally... A little better um so by the end i was just feeling i was feeling pretty good nervous i would get sniped and it seems like we were pretty close here at the end like seven minutes well, six minutes apart but yeah yeah i mean i i can tell you admittedly i've only done two races um my nerves were through the roof during oh yeah um pack has done a lot more i'm guessing he'll tell you it's the same thing yeah, my, my uh, previous tournaments, like, my nerves were out of control, my heart rate. <laughs> uh, like, I was making, like, routing blunders and execution blunders. Like, you could really see it. Like, I versed 64-bit uh, link, and, like, a lot of my, like, RBM execution and, like, my, all that just went completely destroyed. So, nerves can be a big factor in your performance, at least early on during your yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah, completely understandable. I'm I'm sad I didn't get to do a single bit today because, uh, I mean, I guess I could have for um, Skyview, but whenever I saw two pings at the front, I thought I'll just go through this. And we've got Redrail here as well. GG Redrail. GG. GG. Um, what did you think of the seat? I hate FS. Other than that, everything so was true I guess. and real. Yeah, you 
I think you played Fire Sanctuary really well, though. Like, you got through it pretty well. You fought, you know, you got caught plats pretty quickly. You fought the Moldorm pretty well. Um, and I got a Tumbleweed, <laughs> which pretty much cost me the seed, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to lead with that, but that's definitely worry. true. Um, well, I'm not the, angry. Um, I couldn't just leave it there. <laughs> yeah. I think the race would have been really close. Um, because Nave had better end game execution while. Um, yeah, well, my had... remote went, did nothing right. <laughs> I don't know what happened yeah. at the end. But you definitely lost quite a, a lot of minutes to the um, Humbleweed purchase, which is a bit unfortunate. So. I mean, I would have been go mode in FS, so I would have skipped a ski chest, for example. Yeah, it was probably close to 9 to 10 minutes time loss or something. Mm. Just, yeah. But, that's Which just was an interesting scene in, in general. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy of my gameplay. Yeah, I think it was, I mean, we were talking like it was pretty solid throughout. There were some minor things I think that we pointed out for both of you, just like little things that can save some time here and there. But I think it was pretty good overall. Yeah, your uh, execution was um, really well. Your routing was really good. Other than the one blunder of purchasing the tumbleweed, like I had no qualms really. So I'll be really excited to watch it back. Yeah, it Same. should be a good match to watch back for both of you for a learning experience and an entertainment. So. Yeah, we we <laughs> we told Nave this, but Redriel, basically, until you went to Sansi, you two were doing basically all of the same things. I think other than maybe Batro and Thunderhead, there were, there were some minor things that you were doing different, but you were neck and neck really close. Nice. Uh, Thunderhead, yeah, that was the other thing. I started to go to the aisle, the song aisle, uh, the first time I visited when I had White Sword. Then I was like, nah, wait, I'll go somewhere else because I got scale now, or whatever it was. And if I had just gotten, if I if I had just gotten there the first time, I would have, I had enough swords to get um, those mod moments. Yeah. But I had to make a visit later on. Hmm. A lot of like backtracking. I felt like I felt like I visited a lot of places places multiple times, but it was okay, I guess. Some of that I think was just what the seed logic was having you do. Um, mm. So, I mean, the worst part about this seed was the hints that were like sphere zeros, basically. So, not really useful hints. <laughs> yeah, that tends to happen yeah. a lot. Like you'll get those hints that like. Oh yeah, thanks for that. I didn't really need to know that, but whatever. Like, yeah, it's just... That's just pretty much. common in these settings, I think, because you start with so much open at the beginning. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, Aside from, I mean, you could say Central Skyloft hint for G1. You could say it was for Scale to get Beetle, I guess. But it, I mean, it also yeah. easily could have just been for the mitts, the first pair of mitts. Yeah, it, it was uh, the scale, but you got the mitts as well. Yeah, which made me think there was going to be a key on the dig spot in Skyview, and then there wasn't. So I was like, oh, dang. <laughs> it's definitely the scale, yeah. Mm. I mean, we got both, so. Yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. And that, and then Farron Dundum. Fire and Wood Baron was very nice. I was I was like, I can't believe it. I've never had such a huge Baron before. They're always like village and sky. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to get those. Woods is pretty big. Yeah. It felt weird to just go through it without doing anything. That's weird. Yeah. Felt nice. Yeah. But weird. <laughs> I was like, I'm missing <laughs> something. <laughs> My muscle memory is really messing with me right now. Yes! <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. faster to go that way then, but that's weird. <laughs> yeah. I still muscle memory doing 
all of the slingshot checks sometimes, and I have to tell myself not to. So, <laughs> um, I don't have any other questions for you two. I know also the French restream is probably waiting to talk to you if you want mm. to. Um, do you, you two have anything else you want to say, or Pack, you have anything else? No, nah, I'm pretty good. GG's to both of you. I was on the edge of my seat for upwards of two hours, so. Yeah, was a, this it. is, I think, the closest race we've had so far, so. Nice, nice. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys for the, the restream, the commentators, the restreamer, the trackers, and Red Reel for the match. GG's, everybody. It was fun. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. It was really and, nice. Uh, and thankful to see it, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I'm happy. <laughs> no FS next time, please. Thank you. It's a uh, <laughs> yes, uh, two and three chance of no FS. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks to our two trackers, Cube David and Sledgen. And uh, thanks back for commentating with me. Um, with that, I don't know if we're going to have a race here tomorrow. We have a lot of um, Majora's Mask and other things here tomorrow but we do have another race on sunday skyward sword um so with that hope everyone has a good night or a good morning for pack in australia and we're gonna go right over to zsr2 where i think they've got a mmr race uh thanks everyone for watching bye bye